Uh, thanks very much. The, the NACIUM trial, which stands for the N-acetylcysteine in acute myocardial infarction trial, is a study investigating the potential benefits of N-acetylcysteine um, in both reperfusion injury as well as perfusion in patients with ST elevation myocardial infarction. So the rationale behind this, as we all know, ST elevation myocardial infarction is associated with an acute coronary occlusion um, for which we undertake reperfusion therapy. Um, as, a, uh, as a result of the promptness of the reperfusion therapy will result in an infarct size. But the dependent variables for the infarct size is both the duration of ischemia as well as reperfusion injury. So that the duration of ischemia um, res uh, results in uh, ischemic injury due to free, uh, free radical generation, um, as does the uh, uh, reperfusion uh, injury. So the rationale behind using N-acetylcysteine um, is that it's a free radical uh, scavenger um, and therefore reduces oxidative stress and also uh, reperfusion injury. It also has a secondary effects in that it potentiates the effects of glycerol trinitrate or GTN. Um, and glycerol trinitrate uh, has beneficial properties both in vasodilation, antiplatelet effects, as well as reducing inflammation. And so these benefits are improved, uh, uh, are enhanced with the use of N-acetylcysteine. So the purpose of the NACIUM study was to assess the efficacy um, and uh, of adding high dose intravenous N acetylcysteine to low dose intravenous GTN um, in acute ST elevation myocardial infarction patients undergoing primary percutaneous coronary interventions. It was a randomised, double blind, placebo controlled uh, multi centre trial and it involved patients who had a first time ST elevation myocardial infarction within 12 hours being randomised to either N acetylcysteine or placebo with background um, GTN therapy. There was a high dose of NAC given in the first hour and then continued at a lower dose over the next 47 hours. Um, uh, an MRI was performed uh, at about five days with the primary endpoint being um, the myocardial infarct size on MRI. A secondary endpoint was myocardial salvage. So the key findings from this study is that there was a 5.5% reduction in infarct size with the use of N-acetylcysteine as compared with placebo. This is despite the, the fact there not being any difference between the groups in the um, area at risk of infarction. So consequently there was a significant reduction, uh, significant improvement sorry, in myocardial salvage. The plot that you can see looking at the um, uh, myocardial salvage um, along, uh, over the ischemic time demonstrates that the shorter ischemic time res uh, results in a greater beneficial effect of the N-acetylcysteine. So to summarise, the main findings from the study um, is that the addition of intravenous N-acetylcysteine to uh, low-dose intravenous GTN reduces infarct size, increases myocardial salvage and there's a larger effect with a shorter duration of the ischemia. So the implications uh, of this study um, is that um, with a reduction of infarct size of about 5.5% could potentially translate into a 20% reduction in mortality based on some previous uh, studies. So from here the next point to move on to is to undertake a study where we're looking at clinical endpoints rather than the surrogate endpoint of myocardial infarct size.